First of all, uh, I would like to thank our moderator, Bernard Monkema from Myanmar for your nice introduction and good afternoon, brother and sister in Dhamma. Happy to see you all today once again. And today we have one of the important topics to discuss and title with Conflict Resolution and Peace from Buddhist Perspective. This topic is very appropriate, especially in modern time. Uh, recently, we are experiencing the Ukraine war and also there is a new problem in Asia. Uh, the conflict about to happen between Taiwan and China. Reconciliation. This con reconciliation should be very useful that how can we apply the theory, the way of reconciliation in order to establish a harmonious society. Generally, when conflict arises, we are very busy to see the conflict only. Sometimes we also entangle with that kind of situation, even though we don't, don't like it. Generally, nobody likes conflict, but once we are entangled with that conflict, it is very difficult to come out from that conflict. Now, even though we desire to uh, solve the conflict in Ukraine and Russia, Taiwan and China, it is our beyond capability to resolve unless uh, such desire occurs in the big groups of the people. Uh, if all people, most of the people in the world, if they really desire to achieve uh, conflict reconciliation through can be dialogue or through peaceful means. Buddhism talks about conflict because Buddhism believes that conflicts, the external conflicts, at the beginning, it occurs in the human mind. It, this is hatred. That is the Buddha said that Manukubang Dhamma Dhamma, the mind creation. Uh, when we have uh, take care of the hatred in our heart, then such hatred we express, and that becomes the conflict. Even it can be verbally, physically. And the harmfulness, the harm of the, the best side of the conflict, the negative effect of the conflict will be immeasurable. As we can see that uh, the world is experiencing the human, uh, the nuclear war now. It's about to happen nuclear war, but we don't expect it. So why this thing happened? Because first, the conflict occurs in their heart. Then, such conflict with the intention of the mind, they thought that maybe someday I will be invaded by another powerful countries. Therefore, from now on, I should make nuclear bomb so that I will be ready, I will protect my own country. So preparation for the war, preparation to protect themselves. So with such kind of idea, what uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama said, me, I and mine. So this is the concept of the ego, that from the concept of ego, they, they invented the nuclear bomb. They invented the all the powerful, modern armament, modern weapons to fight another, to control, to destroy their enemies. 
Now, let's take it the way how can we solve the conflict. As I mentioned earlier, the conflict generally occurs in our mind, in our heart, in our hatred. When we take care of the hatred instead of the compassion, loving kindness, then we also think like this, I will prepare this way so that nobody will harm me. And if anybody harm me, I will harm him too with their preparation. So the people have to get rid of that kind of ideas, the me, my, and mine ideas. When people are able to destroy the concept of I, me, and my, then they can minimize the conflict. How can they minimize it? How can they destroy me, my, and I? So, in order to destroy that me, I, me, my, my concept, they have to develop their mind. They have to see the two aspects. One is, if I think I, me, and mine, what kind of effect will come to me? Is that effect is good or bad? Of course, that effect must be negative. Then if I get rid of that I, me, and mine idea, then what I get? I will get the liberation. I will, I will get the peacefulness. I will get the, I will achieve the peace, kindness in my mind. So I will be the most happiest person. That is to say that benefit, thinking of the benefit. So when I think myself, when I practice loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, equanimity, when I develop my mind, then I radiate the loving kindness to others. So by this way, I can reduce the concept of I, me, my and mine. There are, there are two kind of vision. They call one is the myopic vision, and another is futuristic vision develop. Now, what is myopic vision? Generally, myopic vision is the person, the person who developed the myopic vision. He de he think only I, me, and mine. He is the selfish type of person. He never think of others. So he does. He just wanted to work himself. He doesn't want to help others. He doesn't want to reconcile. When he go to uh, he think of reconciliation, he maybe think that oh, if I be reconcile with this person and that person, maybe I will become very li little. I will become that small person. So that type of person cannot go forward in life. Now the second person is the futuristic vision. The person who developed the futuristic vision, he sees the future, you see. He sees the future when he's a few, he sees the future and he have that kind of mindset that I will work for, with others in order to reconcile. We, because we believe that if I reconcile others, if, if I reconcile with others, it is not only good for me, it is also good for others. So I will give you an example. You see that uh, during Second World War, the country, Japan, Germany, they work together, and Britain and America together, and Russia, they fight against each other. You see now, now after Second World War end, so they reconcile themselves. Because they reconcile, they work together. They work together, they work as a brother and sister, so their country become very developed. So that kind of benefit, they have already have in their mind that if we work together, this is good for our future. This is good for the future generation, you see. So they forgot the past. Therefore, reconciliation is very, very important. Because we can see that in the in the in the in the history, the country they fought each other. Even the Europe, you see many countries they they fought each other, but finally they become one Europe. Because they, th they thought that the leaders they develop the futuristic vision that if we work together, 
this is good for our country. This is good, but if we don't work together, we will perish. We will destroy ourselves. So in the same manner, when the leader develops futuristic vision in themselves, they always like to reconcile. Finally, uh, as I mentioned earlier, in order to reconcile each other, we must get rid of the ego, the concept of the ego, I, me, and my mind. I, me, and mine. So when we practically can get rid of that kind of ideas, then we can reconcile each other. But you see that problems can be happen. We can be argued together. Many things we cannot be re agree each other. But this doesn't mean we have to think of ourselves as enemies. But we have to think of the future. But we have right to correct each other, learn each other, and grow together as brother and sister in Dhamma. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your kind listening.